YouTube, welcome back to another Watering Waves video. Today we're going to be continuing where we last left off. Uh, of course, you know, the uh, Huanglong Act 4 is currently still locked. So we're going to be continuing on by doing the companion stories. Yeah. So we're going to start on the... Oh, thank you for the follow, token calf SKN. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name pronunciation. But yeah. Uh, we're going to be continuing on with the companion stories. In this case, we're looking at Wild Heart's Return. Companion story for Ling Yang. Uh, this is going to be interesting because Ling Yang is a character that I am very interested in. So, uh, yeah. I think this would be absolutely amazing to go and uh, experience uh, this companion mission. What is it called? Companion story? Wait, hold on. I, I have like... Okay. After playing other games, companion stories, there you go, right. Yeah, because after playing Star Rail, Genshin and all that, I, like, the terms get thrown around a lot, but uh, they all roughly mean the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to meet Ling Yang, which is uh, the dragon, the lion dance, uh, the lion dance boy, i.e. the best boy in game. Oh, he is... Sh is he short? Oh, he's shorter than the rover. Interesting. They... they say you have claws. Aww. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh His ears! And his tail! Oh my god. Wanna take a look? I mean, yes. Yes, please. <gasps> yes, please! Okay, then. Here you go. He's so cute. Why are you scared? He's such a cutie patootie. Dear God. C candies. Try some. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. Oh, it's resonating about Sonus bicep, tricep. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with my muscle terminologies. See? He's not scary at all. He's very nice. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. Ooh, lion dance. Hell yeah. Culture. I need water. All right. See you soon. Aw. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. Thank you. Do I smell funny? Are you talking to me? No, not that expression. You must be that famous rover. Oh, wait, we are famous? Nothing has given us any form of indication that we are famous, guys. Hiya. I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. Ooh. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessings swell. I'm Hikaru. Reach out your hand. Of course, I'm reaching out my hand. Why would I? Why wouldn't I? You really are different from everyone else. Wait, was I not meant to reach out my hand? So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Oh, okay. We we were meant to do that. Nice. What are you doing here? Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Ooh, your troupe? A lion dance show? Yeah. The Lion Dance Troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Nice. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. Tai... Taiping. 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 Ping, Tai, Tai Ping, 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 Tai Ping. I have no idea which ink tail is correct. Not them. Lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Nice. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. Oh, that's that's okay. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. <laughs> that's the thing in Tin in Tinjo too. You seem a bit too kind. What do you want from me? Yeah. Oh, the smiley! Ah! Don't get me wrong. This is just how we treat our guests here in Jinjo. God, I love this man. Okay, wait. Screenshot. No, I wanna... Okay, wait. Hold on. Uh... Uh... Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I love the hospitality here. I promise. It looks so good. Oh my but god. Right now, I still have some other things to finish. Oh, anything we can do to help? Requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. Oh. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinzhou. Can't just turn them down. Fair enough. So I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. Fair enough, but won't that be a bit too taxing on you guys? But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Fair enough. Rover, wanna come with me? Sure. We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. Oh, yep, yeah, sure. I'll go for it. Way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? You gotta hang out with this cutie? Hell yeah. Nice, I'm in, since it's your treat. Ah, ah, right. Amazing. Let's go! This tail is wagging. Ah! Companion story Ling Yang. Okay. Wild Hearts Return. My first clients nearby. You might have seen them before. I should probably Just set it on. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. Which bridge? Okay. Tap to navigate. Alright. Visit the first client with Ling Yang. Alright. Gan Chue. Oh, you are. Fivefold blessings grace your door. Good luck and fortune evermore. Hey. Oh, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're from my grandpa's birthday party? Well, that's today. I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up I should time? shut up. And let them talk. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. Mm hmm. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. My grandpa is a soldier too? Equates to my grandpa loves hanging out with people? What? Nice! Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Grandpa's 60th birthday. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. What do you mean? Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. Uh, Hazukashi? Uh, pole dancing? No, of course. I know. I know it's not that, guys. I know it's not that. I'm just severely down bad for Ling Yang. Okay? 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 Look at me in the eyes. And tell me that you guys know what I'm saying. Okay? Good. <laughs> Very good at rhyming. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now on to the next client. Okay. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Oh, nearby. Sheng Mao and Ling Lin Ling. 
Lin Ling. Lin Ling. Blissful union, endless delight. Love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Lin Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you. And this one here. Blissful union, endless delight. Love eternal love eternal in thee a light. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. God, he looks so cool. Okay. The city Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day. So Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Sorry. This didn't click with me for the previous client. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. Sorry. So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the lion dance officiant ceremony during our wedding. It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. Hmm. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? Oh, okay. It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. I kind of wonder if he is uh, bending over backwards way too much for all of um, for all of his clients. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted. Isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? I was supposed so, yeah. And it symbolizes to the world's end, your hearts aligned, to the sky's edge, your fates entwined. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. Damn. The Lion Dance show for departing soldiers must mean a lot to him. Sheng? What do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. Yep, fair enough. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. All right. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ooh. Oh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. All right, let's go. Nom nom, nom nom time. We're gonna nom nom. We're gonna nom nom Ling Yang. Let's go. Chen Cai. Here we are. This is the place. Hey, -ya, Mister Lion Peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. <laughs> oh hi! Isn't that the Ling Yang boy? Very British. <laughs> I, look, guys, I don't have a problem with the British voice acting. I just find it funny that, it, that it's a lot. And yes, I know Kuro Games has already, you know, um, talked about it. That, you know, uh, it, that in terms of proximity, that um, UK is closer to China than the US. And thus, you know, it's easier to get voice actors from there. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I just kind of like, uh, I, I just kind of like the juxtaposition of, um, you know, what is supposed to be a Chinese guy sounding absolutely fucking British. <laughs> Not that I have anything against any one of them, just to be clear, okay? What brought you here? My lion dance request? I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Hmm. Look. I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Wow. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. 
Mm -hmm. Nah, no need to worry about my little shop, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Damn, you are very... Very, 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 uh... Understanding. Oh, and you must be... Call me Rover. <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Hikaru is only meant for those that are that are trusted. Okay, guys. Lin Yang is one of those. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Ooh. Aww. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. I agree. I agree. You gotta love the food, guys. Don't mind if I do. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. <laughs> Let me do something for you. Anything to help to attract more customers. Oh my, that'll be my great honor. But... But? What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. Mm, atmosphere suddenly turned tense. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, somehow the nickname sounds cute even. What does that mean? But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. Really? When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meter long and its claws shred prey to <laughs> these. <laughs> the cats! The cats are cute. It sounds scary. Interesting. No, that's not true. Jingle Beast doesn't look like that. Do you know it? <clears throat> it... It's a... A friend of mine. Oh. Wow. That's how you're spinning it. Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to rip? Well, there's only one aye, place aye, aye. left to get it, and it's run by this exile group called the Savages. All right, time to beat up some savages. Apparently, they're in cahoots with the Jingle Beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. Ah, they're trying to run a monopoly. Yep, that happens a lot in real life. It's crazy expensive, five times the usual price. It's insane. Yep. I'm just a small shop. How am I supposed to afford that? Yep. So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Are you okay? Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Hmm. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. Uh, we'll, we'll follow you. I'll follow you. Seems urgent. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. Well, that was sudden. Before I could say anything, he's gone. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. Fair enough. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. Mm -hmm. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret, but even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Sure, I'll take that. I'll take that offer. Sure, I'll go. Let me finish my food first. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned <coughs> is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it. All right, thanks. Thanks for the food. Shunzai. 
The tea house? It's in the residential area. Just keep going straight and you'll see it on your left once you're in the neighborhood. Bart Lion Dance. Ah, you must be curious about the opening ceremony with lion peppers, right? Mm-hmm. At the ceremony, the usher playfully throws the lion pepper on the shop's beam, and then the lion dancer jumps up to bite it off. I see you. It's a traditional ceremony in Jinjo, but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how it started. But who cares? As long as we get the lion dance troupe, people will flock to our shop. Hmm. That's how the lion pepper works its magic on business, I guess. Nice. All right, so let's see. Put our head to the left. Let's go to the tea house. A cat, so cute. God damn. Hey, young. Hello. Did I just go the long way around? Oh Sorry, god. But I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Be sure. Rover, what brought you here? I was worried. You didn't pay enough for the meal. <laughs> it's not a big deal, really. Thanks for coming to check on me. Are you in trouble? I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Hmm. Interesting. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Maybe something you can't talk about in public. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? Ooh. How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. Ooh. And since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Fair enough. Beishi... Has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. Yep. You can trust us. Only this guy and DN can call me Hikaru. The rest of y'all call me Rover, okay? <laughs> it's about my brother, Beiji. It's been a week now and he still hasn't come back home. Be Beiji? A week ago? South chicken. That's when I Sorry, North chicken. Request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? God, I love the way that the animations go along with the text. Makes it seem so much more vibrant. It's very nice. My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. Hmm. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. Hmm. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? Oh, he's probably involved with... He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. Yeah, I suspected that. Why didn't you inform the patrollers? I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, the Savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? Mm-hmm. We can go ask the package delivery people. I see. Rover, you're so clever. Praise me more. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit field. Mm-hmm. I... I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Us pioneers never... never back down from a challenge. 
Uh, you don't sound so confident. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Exactly. But I... If you insist... Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants to tag along, so I'm asking a favor of you. Beishi? Rover, I know it's a big ask. North Lion, maybe. Beishi? But please, please help me. I mean, I'll do anything for Ling Yang, so yeah, I plan to. Okay then, since you're asking for my help. Amazing! Thank you, Rover. The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works from. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? Let's go. Join my party, join my party. Alright, loading. Go to the go to the logistics station up ahead. Oh, that mob just immediately disappeared. Nice. It should be around here. Wait, there's someone calling for help. I don't hear that. Oh, there. Over there, the Hu chiefs are attacking someone. That's called a Hu chief. Okay. Alright, Korea's backpack. Uh, okay, I'll skip this. Oh, okay, never mind. Day one, I had one lazy day and now there's a whole convoy of missing packages. They shipped me off to a remote island for punishment. Time to redeem myself as the ultimate delivery hero. Day two, played Echo Simulation all day. Day three, same thing. Day four, come on, I can't keep playing games. Day five, same thing. Day six, they're freaking out about the tingle beasts out there in the wild. Scared, want to bail. Day seven, it is called the tingle beasts, right? Right? No beasts, just exiles ruining my day. Even more packages gone. Broke my terminal, no echo simulation now. Ugh. Day eight, they tried to force me into delivering stuff for them over my dead body. They can feed me to the tingle beasts for all I care. Day 9. We promise, we deliver. Interesting. Alright. What is it? Is that something new? Or am I tripping? Okay. This like two sparkly thingies, but... Yeah, oh wait, there you go. I swear there was a second option that... Okay, never mind. Alright. What are you doing? Rescue the logistics guy. Fair enough. Absolutely amazing. Nice. Ooh, thank you. You saved my life. Yep, no worries. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. Your professionalism is commendable, albeit a bit stupid. Do people often drop off their p packages here? Of course. We promise we deliver. That's our slogan at Lalo Logistics. La, 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 logistics. <laughs> searching for a missing person who used your service. Can you help us? All right. Sure. You just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Does this look familiar to you? Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. Hmm. But we just checked the package tracker, and it said you were the delivery man. Interesting. M maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. About the jingle bees, about the savages. The savages is probably more interesting to ask. The savages, yeah, sounds familiar. Do you know the tingle beast? That monster everyone's been talking about recently? Mm hmm. You mean the jingle beast, right? The tingle beast. Yeah, whatever. That dangerous man-eating thing. 
Mm -hmm. It said that they know how to communicate with that ferocious beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, sir. Thank you. But I've got one last question. No? Oh? Do you know where we can find the savages or the Jingle Beast? Probably not. Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. I cannot divulge details of our clients. But I Fair enough. the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Okay. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it, too. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. Sir, may I remind you? That thing is very dangerous. It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination. Please be careful. Hmm. Okay. And there may be more than one of them. Okay. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. The delivery man thank you and left. Oh well, we didn't get anything useful from him. Well, we did learn something. Yeah, at least now we know the savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Yep. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. He had been threatened. He felt guilty. Yeah, the first one is more likely. Well, at least we still got some clues from him. Like where we can find the Jingle Beast. Mm-hmm. But there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words from him? God knows how. Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. All right. You got it. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. All right. Oh, it's just this one right up ahead. Okay, sure. No, let me kill the bunny. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta mine some of these. Mine, mine, Alright, Floor Ember, Scarletorn. All very useful stuff. Alright. More bunnies! Kill. Kill. Thank you. Viola. Used for cooking. Cooking From is the, the thing. Size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The hmm. broken tree, it should be somewhere up ahead. Let's keep walking. Hmm? I just heard people talking. It's coming from above that slope. Oh, there's people listening in. Okay. You gotta be careful. Okay. Listening ears all over. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. What? Okay. Good lord, wait, how do we lay low? They're all looking this way. How do we not lay low? Hold on. Whoops. Oh, we climb. Okay. Well, I mean, there wasn't really any indication that what we did was wrong, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. Aha. Uh -huh. So they're really here? Shh. Keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? Uh huh. These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Aha. Uh -huh. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. I see. Okay. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. It's definitely the brother. Mm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the jingle beast. 
Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He hmm. probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. What guy? Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. God damn. So expressive. You get it now? So cool. Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew. Are they gone? Stop saying that so loudly. They're right there. No. Wait. They're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. Hmm. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Mm hmm. Okay. Now they've gone farther away. Gotta love Let's your hearing. Down. All right. New function unlocked. Pioneer podcast. Complete the Pioneer podcast task to gain Pioneer podcast EXP and require various rewards. Did I just level up or something? Okay, investigate the camp of the savages. Extra cooking utensils. Exile cooking utensils. The tusk of an unknown creature huge in size. Meat! Spoiled, smelly, frozen meat that has turned brown. Ew. Oh, on the talk to Ling Yang first. They don't seem to have a solid plan or established roots yet. Hmm. They seem disorganized. Probably a new gang. Rover, you found anything over there? Are they all far away? Yep. Don't worry. I'm keeping watch. Thank if you. If happens, you'll know it first. Thank you. You can focus on finding clues. Let us know if you find anything. So dependable. What a guy. Be sure. What on earth are they doing? God knows. My brother, is he really working for these people? I mean, I hope not, but it's not looking good, I will say. Inspect. A messy bill with barely visible entries. The, ex the expenditure is almost zero. Interesting. This is... This is my brother's device. So he's that newcomer then. How could this be? Is my brother really working for those bad guys? Oh, it's raining now. Hey, she. What kind of person is he? He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. He may be timid, but he really loves me. Hmm. Aw. Hey, she. Sometimes... <clears throat> We can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else? Show him the tusk. Show him the frozen meat. Show him the tusk. It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's indeed larger than usual, but they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. Mm -hmm. They're not just spreading rumors, they are also selling spoiled meat. It's unacceptable. Disgusting. Ugh, it pisses me off too. Nice. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. I'll go look for Beatty. I'll go look for the savages. I'll go look for the savages. Rover, I understand your anger. Oh, okay. It didn't matter. Okay. But they are super alert. It'll be too risky for you to go alone. Besides, I know the wilderness better than them. Maybe I should go. Hmm. I want to ask you to take Bei Shi and go look for her brother. She'll be safer with you by her side. Leave it to me. Understood. I will. If anything happens, I'll call you. 
Please stay safe. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself, too. All right. This thing may still be working. My brother could have left me a message. Let's check it out. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Oh, it's a hologram. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do something for you. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. But if it's a rumor, why? The video ends here. It's my brother. Why is he feeling guilty? It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Association. My brother was really against my decision. Hmm. But that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. Why is he trying to kill the Jingle Beast? I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. What is that ringing? Ringing of bells. <gasps> Was it my imagination? Nothing happened. Too well. I know it all too well. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, I got ambushed by tacit discords. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. What happened after that? I... I can't remember. I was so scared my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared when I reached a safer place. If I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. I don't think so. So yes, this must be the Jingle Beast again. Hmm. I'm here with you. Let's check it out. All right. Let's go. Well, now you guys know what time I'm recording this at. Holy crap. Track acoustic print. Some special frequencies will form visible acoustic prints. Follow the acoustic prints and find the sound of the source. The source of the sounds. Sorry. Go in the direction of the bell. Oops, my bad. Anything here I can collect? Nope. Okay. This is all just stuff that we've interacted with before. Okay. Just somewhere in here. Okay. Hey, yay, yay. Search a hassle. Fight. Leave me alone. Ooh, nice. Saber boar. Nice. Where are you? You're here. Okay. Oh, okay. So if we're up here. Is it you? Oh god, okay. That's a lot. There's a lot of mobs, but that's alright. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a shield. Okay, gotcha. Fusion burst effect. Alright, no biggie. Ooh! Nice. Noise. Alright. Is 
it this thing? Oh, you just regenerated health. That's not fun. All right. Noise. Data bank level increase. Fusion dread main. What about this? Havoc dread main. What is this? Tidal heritage. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's irritating. You're coming from this side. Oh, it's you. New trophy, Jingle Bells. Alright. Talk to Ling Yang. Nice. See a puzzle there. Alright. What's going on? Rover! Wow! It's only been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so soon. What are you doing here? While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. Did you hear the bell ringing? The jingle bees? A loud bell ringing? I think I heard something like that, but... What's happening? Also, this is cute. Hopefully I got that in time. Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. Yep. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. Yep. I'm sure I did hear it all <coughs> ringing. So the Jingle Beast is probably hiding in here too. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. What do you say? I do smell danger from this cave, though. I mean, yeah, the cave does look small. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. All right. Shall we keep moving? Let's go. Time is ticking down. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger. The situation's looking dire, and we need your aid. Hmm. Could you please help us rescue him? Your help would mean everything to me. Sure, I'm curious about what really happened. Let's help him reunite with his family. Two meals and a deal. <laughs> of course. You have my word. Hey. I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Beishi, I understand how much you want to find your brother. But it's really dark inside, and we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin just watching each other's backs. Mm hmm. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can. Let patrollers know what happened today and request their help. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore. But that's not running away from danger, though. That's Thank still you. helping. As an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. Mm-hmm. And exactly. sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Exactly. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Please trust Ling Yang. Please trust me. Please trust us. Yes, I will. Please help him. And please stay safe, you two. We will. No worries. We'll bring him back. Good. I, I want to trial Ling Yang. My God. I mean, I do want to get him, of course. Wild Hearts return. Enter the cave. Hidden cave. A chilling wind howls through the dark cave. Its narrow entrance beckoning to a mysterious realm. But take heed, for this is also the domain of hunters lurking in the depths. 
Tread cautiously as you venture further into their hunting ground. Single challenge. <gasps> Ooh. This place, it's full of different smells. Plants, beasts. Oh, that's so cool. And Holy humans. shit. Wait, you are cool. I'm good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. So, Lingyang and Rover Spectro. Let's have a look at the uh, resonators. Ah, it's so cute! Glacier. Rover Spectro. God damn. This guy hits harder than I can. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Continuing on. Oh, the sun. That was sudden. <laughs> Sorry. Wee Water. Oh, what's happening? Look, I bet Bei Ji dropped this. From what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone brave enough to come here alone. He came here for the Jingle Beast. But why does he have this bizarre obsession with the Jingle Beast? Hmm. I guess this is the only way ahead. Let's keep going. All right. Can we view this? No? Alright. Just curiosity. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. That is cool. God damn, he's cool. Oh, God. What? Okay. Tetra. More fish. There's a cat. Can I feed you? I can't. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. What's the chest up ahead? The path is tricky and narrow here. Tacit discords could be hiding. Let's be careful as we move on. Yep. Chest. Fine. Rich is poor, readily sore. <laughs> Wood texture shard. No idea what that's about, but sure. Oh, you're so cute! Oh, wow. It's so cool. Holy crap. They yeah, wanted to off that bird. <laughs> that is kind of cool, though. Anything up here? Alright, nope. Nothing up here. Interesting, okay. Ooh. Resurrection point activated. Two separate paths. Interesting. Okay, we'll go here first. Looks like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. Oh, we can use it multiple times in a row. Interesting. Whoa. Really? What is that? Oh, it's the flower thing. That is genuinely badass. All right. Look at that. I'm just spamming the E. That is cool. All right. Investigate further. Ah, okay. Theme. Nice. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Our efforts paid off. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, lizard. The rocks just fell and blocked our way. Ugh. Beiji must have passed through here already. We'll have to find another route round. Here, I'll break this rock. You can break what rock? Fragile surface rock. Use Ling Yang's plunging attacks to destroy the obstacles or avoid them along the path to your destination. Oh god, okay, that was a long drop. Okay. Explore the underworld. Why am I not allowed to shift my mouse? Help, why is my POV stuck? 
No, okay. Maybe I just have to continue on. It's not letting me move front or back. Okay. Interesting. Why are you not letting me change my POV? Oh, is it meant to be? Okay, my bad. Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over them. Okay. So it's a 2D kind of thing. Nice. This is weird with the whole perspective shift. Oh, but I think it was trying to protect its kids. Oh, that's depressing. Um. Okay. This is like those like Mario levels, I think, right? Something like that. Ooh, so cool. All right. Oh boy, that's on me. Yeah, that's on me for not dodging that fast enough. All right, we should be good. Holy wait, that was so trippy. Okay, I still can't shift my POV. Oh god, with how far it drops, it's definitely scary. Very scary. Like, I keep thinking that I'm going to lose, like, a lot of health from it. Nice. The sands are circling with energy. Rover, see those glowing plants up in the cave? Yeah. They help us find our way in the dark. Pretty handy. Right? Yeah. But be careful. Our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. That's so fair enough. Can't stay too long in the light. Pounds. Whoa. What is this? Oh, back to this. Okay. I kind of like this actually, the 2D style. Whoa. Whoa. This guy is completely blocking our way. Got to go under him. It's not too difficult to fight against, but it's a total wrecking ball. If we fight it here, it could bring down the entire cave. But if we break the rocks, wouldn't that wake him up and like anger him? And it keeps one nostril open for food sense even when it's asleep. We can turn that against it and use a scent it hates to repel it. Mm hmm. Yep, that's the Noctiment. Let's put it by the spear back and see what happens. Okay. The scent is coming from below. <laughs> Man's still asleep. All right. Full hibernation. Resurrection the point activated. Look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. Oops, sorry. I always recite this as I hop on the poles. Aww. I got carried away and said it out loud. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Uh, oh god. Sheesh, nice. Nothing else there? Oh, it's just more of the beast, but in the background instead. Oh, that's trippy. Okay. Mm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Yeah, you bet. Let's glide over them. I'm saving up the uh, the ultimate for when we actually need it. The resonance. More thorns? No way! Yeah. Rover, I'm here with you. All right, together we shall go. But I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Updraft. Thanks. 
Oh, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh god, okay. That's scary. Okay. Umbra Kigus. Holy crap. <laughs> that was entirely unintentional. Oh god, wait. No, don't. Okay, there you go. Oof. The Noctiman smells near. Let's go and have a look. Oh god, parkour. One of my least favorite things to do. Alright. Got it. My bet. Did not mean to press that. Drip snail. Oh, what's happening? Okay. No, I wanted to get that other drip snail. Let me get it. No! I pressed F! Alright. Are you for real? I keep pressing F. Help, guys. Help. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that is so trippy. That's it! The Noctiment we're looking for! Now we can safely distract that spear back. I still can't change my POV. That's irritating. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's there. Okay. God damn. Okay. Nothing else here. Special knocked him in. Nice. Let's go. All out. Woohoo! Oh wow, that was OP. Yo. Oh wait, are those his claws? Holy crap, he is dealing so much bloody damage. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, that's on me, that's on me, yeah. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Holy crap, wait. Alright, deal with everything else first. Run away. Alright, we're good. I keep pressing dodge, but it's not letting me dodge. Oh no! All right, let's get out of here. Oof. Okay. Did I just hurt myself from that? What did I do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I might have blown that up a bit too close to myself. Uh, do I have any healing things that you can consume? Maybe? Maybe? Or... Should be on the backpack, I think. Yeah. Cannot use it on characters in trial mode. I hate... Fair enough. Don't know what I was thinking with that. Alright. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Coriolis. Where are we? I found a shortcut. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. And now here. Right. This looks vaguely familiar. Ooh, Ling Yang placed the Noctiman under the big guy's nose. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Oh no. Oh, that was nearly... Nearly fatal. Holy crap. Okay. No stopping. Good luck once it's on your side. Okay. Nice. Phew. Been a while since I last swam. This feels so good. 
All right. Wow. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This it's is so beautiful. beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Wow. Let's keep moving. No, I want to take a photo, goddammit. Alright. Thank you. Save it. Alright. <laughs> Gotta keep collecting butterflies. Other people say don't go chasing waterfalls. I say don't go chasing butterflies. Alright. Time to zip line. Oh, okay. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Hmm. Oh well. At least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. Ah, uh, irritating pieces of shite. I, I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, it won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. That will be us. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Nice. Oh, a prey is finally here. Hmm. Who are you? Run! Run while you can! They're targeting me! Run, don't even think about it. You think you were smooth? Smooth of what? We saw you spying. Oh, of course. On us. We just played dumb to lure you in. Hmm. And now we got you. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. You're supposed to be cautious. That we would say the opposite for you guys. Lol. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? Ooh. If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes a beast pretends to be weak to give their prey a false sense of security make them assume they're the hunters they must be like why am i hearing boss music right now what i haven't been this angry in a while oh unleash your full power rover We'll show them no mercy. Hell yeah. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the way beasts do. Hell yeah. Fight, 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 fight. With low energy. I mean low EXP. I mean HP. I don't know what I'm saying. That was too easy. Crap. That was way too easy. I heard once his tail starts wagging real fast. He's unstoppable in battle. So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> I haven't revealed my true strength yet. Uh, of course. Try harder. Wow. You're so strong. <laughs> You don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can. Or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? Ooh. <laughs> you startled those things awake. Boss, what do we do now? Hmm. Well, uh... We're fighting them? Ooh. 
No, they're gonna run. What's going on? Don't let them escape. Grover, watch out. What is that? Is it the big bear? Oh, it's... Oh, oh. Multiple of you. Don't you dare lay a claw on him. Oh boy, we're fighting. Oh. Wait, that's it? No, I, I shouldn't say that because every time I do, something else pops up. Woo. Yeah, like that, for example. Ooh, nice. Holy shit. Wait, yo, he hits like a tank. What are you on, bruv? Ooh. Nice. Well, oh, need to dodge that in time. God damn. All right. No worries. Yeah, that was surprisingly easy. What happened? All right. What's that instant wipe with that with the ult? Oh crud, my phone dropped. Oh boy. You hurt my friend. You die. Damn. Grover. Sorry I let you see this side of me. Hmm. Wow, that was scary. I'll keep it a secret. Please keep it a secret between the two of us. <clears throat> I'm alive. Thank you for saving me. Oh, and uh, sorry, but uh, who are you? Your sister sends us here. My sister? Beishi? She's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, she is safe now. She's worried sick. Haven't slept in seven days. That's good to hear. Thank you. Hmm. Ling Yang share with you. She would. Uh, Ling Yang shares more details. Okay. Sorry I made you worry too. About Beishi. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers until we lost them to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet, trying to take care of my sister. Hmm. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambitions. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association, and we got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. But to be honest, when she was accepted to join the Association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. You had your reasons. You should have respected her decision. Uh, is there no middle ground that I can take? Do I have to be? Alright, you should have respected her decision. Yes. I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. Not gonna lie. He's kinda hot. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you.
All right, leave the hidden cave. Ding yang. God, even the lion sounds are cool. God damn. Oh, leave. Okay. You exit the cave to find that Beishi and the patrollers have caught Why? Why did this happen? the exiles. Nice. When it rains, it pours. Yep. This is not what I had planned. Well, to be fair, you did this to yourself. You can't always get what you want. Behave. Ling Yang, Rover. What was that at the start? Do you guys see that? Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Nice. Ling Yang, Rover, are you all right? Your brother. Oh yeah, fine. Beishi. 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 I'm so sorry. I made you worry. I keep thinking Beiji and Beishi, which is like, uh, which is North Lion and North Chicken. Though seeing your reunion. Kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Touching. I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. Let's head back to the city first. Alright, back to the residential area. It's one kilometer away. How far are we? Oh, wow. Well, I mean... <laughs> I'm surprised that this far south, everything's still pretty nice. And that's not good. Hmm. Okay. It's not that I want to walk back. I just kind of want to get maybe one or two of these like uh, resonance nexus before we get back. Yeah. I'll probably uh yeah. I'll probably end up into trouble very soon, though. Realistically speaking. <gasps> yeah. Dude, I love the expressiveness that the character has. This is, it's genuinely so cool. Settle range. Settle range. What is that? Look at that in the, the, in the background. Yo. This place looking pretty darn cool. I should probably should have walked along the outskirts instead, now that I think about it, but it's fine. Alright. Resonance Nexus, here I come. Right. The Eternal Concert new quest. Okay, yeah, we'll do that later. Right now, we gotta get this bad boy out of the way. Look at the sun! That is so cool. That is genuinely so cool. God damn. What city of Kuishu? Okay. I will head to this resident nexus as well. Then after that we will uh, head back. Alright. Because that one doesn't seem too far away. Yeah, I see it in the uh, corner of my eye. So let's get that one. Traffic Illuminate. What? Traffic Illuminator. Fongnu Research Station. There's a bunch of areas here. Oh, that's a puzzle thing. Okay. Cool. We're approaching the Resonance Nexus. Kind of surprising though. Like. The distances doesn't seem too far. 
Although it probably is superbly far. Level 9. Alright, you're in this direction. Probably some climbing needed. Alright. Yeah, you're here. The Resonance Nexus. Nice. Nice. Activate. That's another one down. So nice to get some of the uh, Southern uh, Resonance Nexus down. At the, at the very least, you know, it's slowly opening up the map. Although, albeit not very much, but still better than nothing at the very least, you know. But yeah, let's continue on the quest with by teleporting back to Jinjo. Jinjo. Alrighty. Where are we headed? 100 meters this way. Let's go. Look at a cat and that statue. Very cute. Very cute little thing. Alrighty. Getting ourselves soaked in the water. Let's go. <laughs> I should have just climbed the wall now that I think about it. You returned to the city on the way back, Beiji told Bei Shi all about what happened. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan to get rid of it. I see you. Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. Said they knew how to talk to that beast. I see you. So I thought... It would be a good idea to partner up with them. So you wanted to find the Jingle Beast through them? Yes. I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. Aww. A lot of this is really just, you know, right intentions, wrong method of execution. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. Fair enough. Your courage is commendable, but being brave is not the same as being reckless. Yes, you're right. I failed. Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. That's all I could do. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. Aww. Don't, don't say that. No, that's not true. At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Exactly. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind? These are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves for someone else or for a greater cause. Indeed. It only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. Oh, Ying Yang. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Bei Ji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you too. R really? Yeah. Yes. I love you, brother. But promise me you won't do anything stupid again. <laughs> okay. Yes. I promise you. But, um... At least I did find something this time. Oh. What did you find? We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. <laughs> uh, of course. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. And the bell did come from a uh, certain someone else. Perhaps it was just your imagination. Or maybe it was some tacit discords? Wasn't it from Ling Yang? No 
way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Why is she still so convinced? Yeah, we should do something. Rover Ling Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry for the trouble I caused. No worries. Sure. Go get some good rest. Don't forget to come see the lion dancing show tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, tomorrow? Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. <laughs> uh. No, no, I didn't. Sorry. Actually, I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast. I see. But now, I guess that's no longer necessary. I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. Let's go cheer for Ling Yang. The lion dancing show tomorrow is really important. I see. <coughs> we'll come watch the show. Nice. Yeah. Please do come, okay? Bei Shi and Bei Zi waved you I goodbye. I have a lot of questions to ask. And there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Hmm. Fair enough. Please, follow me. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well... Let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Aw. Sure. You're going very slowly though. Maybe I just have superbly long legs. And a superbly thick cake. <laughs> Sir, may your business boom. Thank you, Lin Yang. Hey, oh, is it tomorrow already? Fair enough. Because <laughs> I just realized, yeah. I'm being very dumb. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. Aww. Have a happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Ling Yang. The shop as well. Miss Gamchua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Aww. Phew. And now we're back. Ling Yang, you're finally here. Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I completely forgot. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. Interesting. I'll okay. Be right back. Sure. Hurry up. Master's getting angry. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, go, go, go for it. Go for it. All right. Look for the right props at the theater backstage. Okay. Can we jump on these? Ooh, okay. Oh no, I'm not gonna be good at any kind of parkour with these. Wow. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, I will not be good with the with these. Ah! Even I missed that, bruh. Alright. Okay, so remnants of the past. Chess. Inspect. A handwritten pamphlet titled Lucky Greetings Collection. Sign of regular revisions can be noticed. It, rec it records in details all the popular lucky greetings from Huang Long, including the ones often spoken by Ling Yang. Wood textured shard. Sit down. 
It's probably the makeup booth, if anything. Are we here? Or am I trolling? Hold on. I don't see anything. Oh, it's somewhere here. Oh, wait. Uh, I just saw it. Right here. There you go. Inspect. Partially completed red packets and silk balls. These should be lion dance props. The designs are delicate and you can tell meticulous craftsmanship from, from them. Ah, here. Okay. Pair of jingle bells. Hey, Rover. I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinzhou. Can't disappoint them. Of course. Why are land dance shows such a big deal in Jinzhou? 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 Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Mm. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. What does this have to do with Beishi? Beishi? Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Yeah, that's probably true. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in the... Beiji wanted to kill Aww. the jingle beast to help his sister. Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work. But that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here... The scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the Jingle Beast now, but another Twinkle Beast could appear later. Twink Beast. <laughs> that one Jingle Beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. True. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our Lion Dance performance. Damn. As the Lion Dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Beishi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's Lion Dance show. Alright. <laughs> Go to the theater the next afternoon. Alright, so gotta set the time. Which is that, I believe. Fif Tomorrow, 1500. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Look for Beiji and Beishu in the audience area. Hello. Okay, talk to them. Hi, Rover. There you. It's been quite a while Oops, since sorry I about saw that. a grand lion dance show like this. I'm so excited about it. Rover, do you know what the secret is about the jingle beast Lin Yang was talking about? I have no idea. Wait until you find out. Oh. The show's beginning. <laughs> All right. Cutscene. for it <sighs> Wow
Oh. Oh, this is that day. Damn. Oh. Not the field. God damn. God damn. So he was the person that saved her that day, of course. Oh. <laughs> Go to the backstage of the theater and look for Ling Yang. You can see he's going backstage as well, wait. I should talk to Bay T first. Wait, are they still around? Oh no, they're not. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all here. How did this happen? <laughs> all right. I was once chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing, and my only thought was to run away. Mm-hmm. And I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So, I must have been saved by that bell. And hence, you were saved by Ling Yang. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The lion dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah, I loved your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Centrifugalsa 2, thank you for the follow. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. And, um, please forgive me. Aww. I am upset because you never told me anything. You always carried the burden alone. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. Yeah. He's gone. I promise. I promise. Let me treat you to something as my sincere apology. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. Goddamn. Rover, how was my performance? Did you like it? Indeed. You were amazing. It was great. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Oh, come on. Gotta give him more credit than that. <laughs> Getting your compliment is all that matters to me. Oh, stop it, you flirt. <laughs> Rover, thank you so much for your help. Thank you. I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. I have one more question. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. Ooh. Okay, I have to stop. I have to stop with the insinuations. I swear to God. Follow Ling Yang. All right. Where are we headed to? Oh, whoops. Okay. Rover, let's talk here. About the Jingle Beast, about Beishu. Sure. 
Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, mm -hmm. then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? That's impossible. I believe so. Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. Overclocking. It's even more dangerous in beasts as they follow instincts. Yep. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Hmm. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the, oh, the beast, cat. It happened a long, oh. long time ago. The Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. Of course. Of course. That's a ferocious name. That's an adorable name. <laughs> Back then, the Swanese lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Of course. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Fair enough. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanese, with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanese were deemed evil. How do you know all that? Okay, to be fair, the rover doesn't know. So I don't blame him for that, but yeah. Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. Aww. And... I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. Oh. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. Oh. And then... It yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, oh, no. twisted its bones, and learned to stand upright. Why did it want to become human so bad? Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Oh. Young. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. <laughs> oh. God damn. <laughs> Look at the robot's face. Never really became a human in the end. Mm hmm. Is it because of its appearance? Is it because of its heart? <clears throat> if it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. Yeah. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Yep. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Doesn't matter anymore. 
It has a long way to go. Yes, it did. It doesn't matter anymore. Indeed, it doesn't matter anymore. You're perfect the way you are. Well, is that what you think? Yeah. I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. Exactly. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human. Just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. Exactly. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Hell yeah. Oops. I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Aww. Thank you, Rover. Thank you, Ling Yang. Reach out your hand. Aww. Oh, wait. No, this is so sweet. Ling Yang, come here. Coming. Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. God damn it. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Of course. I'll come and watch you anytime. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Aww. Companion story, Ling Yang. Wild Hearts Return. Ah. Auspicious bell. The bell that Ling Yang wore during the performance. As a thank you for the journey, Ling Yang gave it to you. Cough a spherical bell, a gentle shake can hear a crisp and pleasant sound. It is said to bring good luck and courage to the wearer. Things themselves have no meaning. Uniqueness is often given by people. Perhaps... The moment the boy reached out to you firmly in the crowd, he had, he had already shown you his courage. God damn it. That's sweet. My god. I know I said Ling Yang was a sweetheart, but this makes him even more of a sweetheart. He's so, so adorable. <sighs> God damn. Pioneer Podcast. Ah, there you go. That's the battle pass. Yeah, of course. Consume 180 wave plates in total. Guidebook activity reaches 100. Absorb echoes, tune echoes, complete tacit fields, of course, a lot of this. Complete three daily quests. Consumables, 40, 100,000 shell credits. Jesus, okay. Remaining amount of time, 30 days. Unlock inside the channel, of course. What is that? Dinjo records. Symbol of your journey that can be displayed to other wafers. Sigils can be updated in your profile channel. A stress tide and a gilded ginkgo. And I assume, oh, this is the cheaper option. <laughs> okay, I see. What's your max level? <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, um, as an added bonus uh, to all of you guys for staying all the way till the end, uh, of this video, I thoroughly enjoyed Ling Yang's uh, companion quest. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> ah, you're gonna make me cry like this, fam. That's not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. But yeah, Ling Yang's an absolute sweetheart. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. Alright, so as a thank you, for all of y'all for staying till the end we are going to do the beginner pools on we're gonna do the beginner pools now uh we're gonna be doing the novice convene and then hopefully afterwards we'll get one no we'll get ling yang hopefully i want ling yang please be ling yang um yeah as for all of the rest of the convenes uh i ooh. 
Target at Convene. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna pull for our beginner choice convene and then thereafterwards uh the targeted convene will be selecting based on that. So yeah. Let, without further ado, let's go. First time. Purple I would assume is a four star. Alright. Tree star, 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 tree star. Three star or star lunar cutter. Nice, cool. All right, another ten. Come on, come on, not a purple. All right, I'll skip. Oh. Oh, also a four star. Oh, he had a demo and everything. I thought he was a five star. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I want it also. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, thirty more convenes to go. What do you have for me, purple? All right, Marcato. Okay, fair enough. Come on. Using up all my convenes. Oh no. All right, more purple. Cadenza. All right. So that's the first one, and I think it's our final one. A five star is guaranteed. So let's see. These being Ling Yang, Ling Yang, or Kelcharo. Fuck off! Jake, Jake, Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake. No! No! <laughs> Alright. Another Alto? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, we're gonna. Oh. Oh, it's Encore! Hi! Okay. So Tao Chi is a new one. Encore is our new 5 star. Karina Reeves. Interesting. For targeted convene... What is this? Remaining convenes 80. What is this? The 5 star of your choice will be guaranteed in 80. The convene event ends once you get the targeted 5 star resonator. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, how do I select? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, for this one, we're gonna select Ling Yang because I want Ling Yang first. Let's go! Best boy! Spirits be gone, all safe and sound. Hey, hello, welcome to the party, Ling Yang. Nice. All right, for the target to convene, we will be selecting Kalcharo. Ooh, you look so cool. Nice. All right, so of course, with all of these, we of course have Radiant Tides and the Lustrous Tides that we can purchase. I would assume the Radiant Tide is what we want, right? Yeah, these things are called Radiant Tides. Okay, we'll purchase them. We'll purchase them, of course. How many can we buy in total? Six. Yeah. So you gotta get them, of course. Let's trust Tides and... Oh, Forging Tides. So that's the weapon one. Okay, gotcha. And this one is for... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Quite generous with this, I will say. 51 so far? That's that's actually pretty decent. Wow. <laughs> Tien! Alright. God, he looks so cool. Okay. When the stars shine too. I would assume that's for getting a certain number of characters. Alright. The token, token, diary, and the bell. I am never throwing any of these away. They're all so precious, goddammit. Absolve an echo. Thank you. Soul free phase ascension one. By reaching a higher soul free phase, you'll be, you have the opportunity to gain more rewards. However, be warned that the enemies you encounter will be more dangerous. Oh no, did I increase my level? New challenge, boss function. Find a variety of powerful enemies in the overworld. 
Wraith plate consumption. Ew, okay. Crownless. Oh, there's more. Lampy Lumen Myriad. Interesting. Okay. Oh, all of them have things. Cool. Okay. Alright. So soul free face. I see. Okay. So we've hit level 10, of course. Oh, how do we jump up to four? Oh, convening. Okay, makes sense. All right, nice. Okay, and yeah, uh, this will mark the end of the video. Thank you all so, so much for coming. And yeah, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, yep, that's the 60. All right, anything new? Nope, maybe the trophies. Uh, wow, that's a lot of trophies. <laughs> I will claim them all off stream. Anything new in the store? Bundles. <gasps> Alright, the level 10 bundle. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for that. Brilliant. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and that's about it. So thank you all so much for coming. And I'll see you guys in the next video for this, you guys, on YouTube. Uh, do check me out over at Twitch, Hikaru Koshi VT. Uh, you guys will be able to catch me play all of this live, which is, yeah, which is amazing because these videos are recorded a decent amount of time before they are edited and uploaded to YouTube. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys will have a great day ahead whenever wherever you're watching this. Thank you all so much for coming and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Hopefully by the next video we'll be able to uh continue on the act four onwards. So yeah, bye!